Go ahead, DA. Hey, Brad. Um, first, just, you know, I can't even imagine the, how tough it is to play against Embiid. And you guys tried different things tonight. How is how is he just tilting the floor in this series so far? Uh, first praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, he, uh, Joe's a, man, he's a special talent. You know, we, we definitely got to respect him and tip your cap to him. Our, our whole game plan is basically centered around him. And, uh, you know, we understand it. I mean, he can score. He's a three-level scorer. I mean, he can score from outside on the three. Uh, he's not like most bigs in the league. You know, he can put the ball on the floor, shoot three. He plays like a guard. Like, it's kind of crazy. Um, but, you know, we we went a little bit more one-on-one in light. Uh, the last two games, we've we've been doubling them a lot, and uh, we actually had some success with it, but it also forced us into a lot of rotations and uh, open threes, and Ben Simmons under the paint with, you know, smaller guards wasn't good for us. So, uh, you know, we want to go a little bit more one-on-one tonight, and granted, I mean, he's going to take advantage of those opportunities. Um, and, you know, maybe second half, we tried to make it a little bit more difficult, give him some different looks, but, I mean, he was – He's pretty toasty at that point, so uh, it was tough. It was tough, nonetheless. Uh, but he he definitely got the best of us tonight. You uh, you had fans in here for the first time in a while. Like, well, you had you know half capacity tonight. I know the game got away from you, but did you notice notice the fans uh, during the first half, especially? What you trying to say, Da? No, I'm asking. Did you, did you did you hear them? What did you think of them being here? Uh, I mean, we loved it. I loved it. Uh, I mean, we granted we still had a lot of Philly fans in here. I mean, it's only two and a half hours away. Um, but I mean, we were definitely excited about it. They they definitely got got me going a little bit. Um, it's always good to be able to have have our fans and you know in the arena and uh, to be able to have some energy behind us. Uh, but I mean, we definitely. I mean, regardless, fans or no fans, we gotta. We got to have a better performance than what we did, uh, but I am appreciative of the fans we did have in there tonight. Fred, hey Brad, um, what did you make of the your guys' three point? They hit a bunch of threes tonight. What what did you make of your guys' actual three point defense and your rotations on the perimeter? That was bad. It was horrible, uh, Fred. We didn't. Uh, uh, Denny Green's a shooter. Seth Curry's a shooter. Uh, I think we let Denny hit about four or five threes in the first half, whatever it was. Seth almost the same thing. Uh, we just didn't make them dribble. Like <laughs> they, uh, I mean, no disrespect to them, but we we want them to put the ball on the floor um, and create plays. But you know, we didn't make them do that. They just literally rose up and shot it over us. Got a lot of open threes. And that was miscommunications and transitions. Uh, you know, us in offense not getting back, getting back on defense, not talking, not matching up, and it just led to open threes, which killed us. I remember early in the year, uh, closeouts specifically were a big emphasis for you guys defensively, and, and you got better at them throughout the year as a team. What, why do you think that's reverted a little bit at points during this series? Uh... I don't know. I really wish I could pinpoint it for you. Uh, you know, everything on the fly in this game, you know, at this level in the playoffs, everything is intensified and everything is, you got to be a quick thinker, uh, you know, out there on the floor. So it's it's tough, um, but I can't pinpoint it. I really wish I could, but uh, we just have to be better. Just have to be better. I mean, we can't, can't revert back to old ways. Like in some ways it felt like we were just getting beat up and just couldn't, we just stopped fighting back for a minute. That was, that was a little frustrating. But we just got to keep chugging. Chase. Hey, Brad. Uh, w- when did you realize that Russ would be good to go tonight? And just uh, what did you think of the way he played and how he looked? Uh, Well, I know Russ, you know, if it's not broke, he's going to play. So um, I'm going be honest, I kind of knew hell after the last game he's going to play. Just knowing who he is, you know, even if it was for two minutes, you know, he was going to go out there and and give it whatever he had. So, and for him to give us the production he had on uh, one leg, I mean, it was was pretty good. Very good. Uh, 
Matt Paris. Hey, Brad, what do you take away from being in a hole like this? Uh, you know, you guys have faced a lot of adversity so far this year. Just what do you take that you're actually in? I don't think you've ever been in a three hole hole before. So just what do you take away actually being in? Yeah, it was funny. I was just thinking about that in the locker room. I've never been been down three hole. Uh, it's uh, it's tough, obviously. You know, you you don't want to give in to, to what the record says, and you you just want to continue to take it a day at a time. I mean, and the positive of it is it's happened before. You know, it's happened in history. So you know, in a lot of ways, that that uplifts me, um, keeps me positive, and had a crappy game tonight. So way worse than the first two, and uh, for me, that that gives me confidence. I know I won't. Play the way I did tonight, you know, next game. Um, but we all, I don't think any of us will. I think we'll definitely, we'll be a lot more juiced and ready to go and uh, start fighting back. But yeah, I've never been in this position, so I'm definitely kind of processing it and how to approach it day by day. But obviously, the biggest thing is to win and do whatever that takes to do so. Thanks. Green. Hey, Brad, the last time you guys hosted was 2018. I'm just curious for you personally, how have you evolved since that series back then? And, and how is this experience different than, you know, what is that, three seasons ago? Yeah, I mean, for one, it's a totally different team. Uh, that's the first thing I always say is a totally different team. Uh, I think I'm probably the only guy remaining from two years ago or whatever. Uh, so in that, in that instance, like I, I mean, my production is just, and my growth has has been just that. Like I, I just take pride in it and getting better um, each and every game, and obviously in the off season getting better. And you know, granted, I had some some opportunities to be able to do a little bit more for my team, uh, and in those opportunities, I was I had some success, and I just stay with it. You know, coach trusts me, uh, teammates in the organization trust me to just continue to lead and and uh, kind of be the franchise focal point. But uh, obviously, I still have a long way to go. I still got a lot of room to grow. Uh, but I'm definitely not the same player I was two years ago um, in, in that series. I mean, I think I was, I don't think I handled the ball or played on the ball as much as I do now um, or create as much as I do now, too, so. Cool, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm.